Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Mr. Budehas, your online math teacher. In today's video, you will learn properties of integers. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to correctly define the properties of integers, correctly name the properties of integers that justifies a given expression, and correctly write a mathematical expression to illustrate the properties of integers. Let's start. Let's learn first what is a property. In mathematics, a property is a rule that is assumed to, all, to be always true without any proof. The properties of integers are the following. First, we have the commutative property of addition. This property states that the order in which you add the integers does not affect the sum. In symbols, we have a plus b is just equal to b plus a. For example, 7 plus 3 is just the same as 3 plus 7. 7 plus 3 is 10, and 3 plus 7 is also 10. So they are just equal. That is commutative property of addition. Another example, suppose we have negative 8 plus 3 is equal to 3 plus negative 8. We just change their position. Negative 8 plus 3 is negative 5. 3 plus negative 8 is also negative 5. So they are just equal. Next, we have the commutative property of multiplication. This property states that the order in which you multiply the integers does not affect the product. That is, a times b is equal to b times a. For example, 7 times 5 is equal to 5 times 7. 7 times 5 is 35, and 5 times 7 is also 35. So they are really equal. Another example, suppose you have negative 9 times 2. We can write it also as 2 times negative 9. So negative 9 times 2 is negative 18. And then 2 times negative 9 is also negative 18. So they are just equal. That is commutative property of multiplication. Next, we have the associative property of addition. This property states that Changing the groupings of the addends does not affect the sum. In symbol, that is quantity A plus B plus C is equal to A plus the quantity of B plus C. So as you observe, we just change the groupings. But this changing of groupings of the addends does not affect the sum. For example, 7 plus 3 plus 4, we will group 7 and 3 for this side. And for the right side, you have 7 plus 3 plus 4. We will group 3 and 4 here. Then solve this. As we all know, we will solve first what's inside the parentheses. So 7 plus 3 is 10. And just copy 4. 7 plus 3 plus 4 is 7. 
Next is 10 plus 4, we have 14. 7 plus 7 is also 14. So they are really equal. That is associative property of addition. Next, we have the associative property of multiplication. This property states that changing the groupings of the factors does not affect the product. In symbols, that is A times B times C is equal to A times the quantity of B times C. So, see, so observe, we change the groupings. For example, we have 7 times 3 times 4. We'll group 7 and 3 here. And on the right side, we have 7 times 3 times 4. They have different groupings. 7 times 3 is 21. Multiply it by 4. On the right side, you have 7, just copy, times 3 times 4 is 12. So we have 7 times 12 here. Then continue multiplying. 21 times 4, that's 84. And on the right side, 7 times 12 is also 84. So they are really equal. And that is associative property of multiplication. Next is the distributive property of multiplication over addition. This property states that the product of an integer and the sum of the other two integers is equal to the sum of the individual products of the integer with each of the addends. In symbol, that is a times the quantity of b plus c. And that's equal to the, the sum of the individual products. a times b plus a times c. So we just distributed a to each terms of the binomial. And this is the result. For example, we have 7 times 3 plus 4 is equal to 7 times 3. Just distribute this. So we have 7 times 3 plus 7 times 4. Then solve. So on the left side, we have just copy 7 because we will add the elements inside the parentheses. 3 plus 4, that is 7. On the right side, 7 times 3 is 21 plus 7 times 4 is 28. 7 times 7 is 49. And then 21 plus 28 is also 49. And they are really equal. That is distributive property of multiplication over addition. We have two operations involved here, the multiplication and addition. Next is the identity property of addition. This property states that adding 0 to an integer does not change the value of the integer. Here, 0 is what we call the identity element for addition. In symbols, that is a plus 0 is equal to a. For example, we have 7 plus 0, the result is 7. Another, we have negative 9 plus 0, the result is negative 9. Next is the identity property of multiplication. This 
This property states that multiplying an integer by 1 does not change the value of the integer. Take note, 1 here is what we call the identity element for multiplication. In symbols, that is a times 1, the result is a. For example, we have 7 times 1, the result is 7. Negative 12 times 1, the result is negative 12. That's identity property of multiplication. Next is the inverse property of addition. This property states that the sum of an integer and its opposite value on the other side of the number line, which is what we call the additive inverse, is always equal to 0. In symbol, that is a plus the opposite value of a, which is negative a, then the result is 0. For example, we have 7 plus negative 7, that's the opposite value, the result is 0. Another example, suppose you have negative 9, and the opposite value of negative 9 is positive 9, so we have negative 9 plus 9 is also 0. Another, we have the inverse property of multiplication. Here, uh, this property states that if you multiply a number by its reciprocal, also called the multiplicative inverse, the product will be equal to 1. So in symbols, that is a times the inverse of a is, or the reciprocal of a is 1 over a, and the result is always 1. For example, we have 7 times the reciprocal of 7 is 1 over 7. That is 7 over 7 or 1. Another example, suppose we have negative 10 times the reciprocal of negative 10 is negative 1 over 10. We will multiply them, that is positive 10 over 10 or 1. And that's all for the properties of integers. I hope that you learned something from this video. That's all for today. Thank you for watching.